All right, let's get down to business. One thing you got to give Novaria is the ambient soundtrack. We've just been listening to it vibing while we set up for the episode. This Novaria got to be the best reasons. of the first three main missions because of the wide variety of ways you can tackle getting through New Port Hansha. You can speed run this entire thing by Indeed, speaking to this Hanar Opold and agree to smuggle for him and then turn his merchandise the into the administrator to get a garage pass. That's dirty this behavior, don't you think? Corruption is the name of the game here on Novaria. Don't let how chill this place is fool you, it's just Omega in a suit and tie. Besides betraying the jellyfish here isn't even the most messed up thing you can do to get your garage pass. Uh, Donald, are you actually aware of what you can do here? Of course. As an expert businessman, it's natural that I would know about everything Thing you can do to get ahead on you Novaria. Well, perhaps you could fill me in. I just work with Paracini. Just watch yeah, Sleepy Joe, and I'll show you how a real goddamn renegade player gets things no done. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. This one Let's start with this smuggling mission. You the see, all you goody two shoes to players vessel. might think to follow all up on your end of the deal and one. grab the jelly's package and bring it back to him for a measly 250 or 500 credits. That but what I have planned is far better. Fees. You're going to give it to Analeas? Why the f*** would I help that slimy, wiggly-ass amphibian? He's probably it. going to I give the delivery to Opold's client, a Krogan named Inamorda himself. Doing so will net you 500 or 750 credits instead. Not a big increase, but an increase all the same. You disappoint me, Barack. I thought you knew it all. What I'm going to do will be significantly more profitable and sate my need for blood. No, I know what else you can do, Donald. It's just I didn't realize you were going to go all the way like this. Just watch and learn, and maybe you'll see something new. Now that we have Opold's delivery, let's go have a word with him. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Change of plans. I've decided to keep it myself. You cannot do that. Inamorda will be furious with this one. This one wants the other to leave now. That's the most emotion I've ever heard out of a Hanar. Now get this, we have a free ammo upgrade that we can either use ourselves or we can sell it to Opold for more than he or Inamorda would have paid us for it. Why are you going back out that way? There's one more thing to take care of, and it's the big payoff for this little side mission. We get to spill a little blood. As you might expect, Enamorda the Krogan isn't exactly pleased with being ripped off, so he's waiting for us by the Normandy. You can skip this encounter by just continuing through the Novaria main mission, since at the end of it, you just teleport back into the Normandy. Yeah, but screw that. We went around collecting some credits and finally picked up a real fucking gun. The HMWSG Spectre Master Gear Shotgun Baby. For crying out loud, I wish we'd gotten better weapons before. I had to get my ass blown out by the damn drones on Luna. You gotta learn how to walk before you can run, Sleepy Joe. Teabagging the NPCs, Donald. Have you no shame? There is literally no other reason for a crouch option to exist in this game. You automatically snap to low cover when you press up against it. Crouching can only exist so you can teabag. Now we can focus on the main I'd mission. Like Novaria already proving itself to be a more engaging mission than Pharos. Yes. Just what, that what? smuggling side mission Anybody alone had a wider array of content. I don't know what I was smoking when I was right, defending right, Pharos. Good to see you finally switch up, Joe. It's never too late to come to your senses. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. A colonial rube? You have Wait, a what's a rube? Colonials? Should I be offended? No he basically called us an unsophisticated country bumpkin. All of them. What did he just call me? Did he call me a fucking commie? Easy, Donald, calm down. Who does Business he think he's talking to, to Bernard Sanders? I'm Donald J. Better dead than red Trump. I don't know, Donald. Right now, your face is turning from its typical orange hue to a more red complexion. You know, in the back of my head, I was considering being cool with the Solarian from one businessman to another. But to call me the C word like that? Inexcusable. He's going to get his by the end of the episode. I'm out for blood. I'll be leaving now. I trust you can show yourself out. First, we have a little bit of corporate espionage. A couple ways to let this mission play out. Don't bother going into the details, Barack. I'm planning on betraying the Asari. Whoa, betraying the trust of an Asari. What's come over you? Nothing at all. I'm just being the chaotic force I always have been. Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. Okay, well, if she's going to call us names, I think she has it coming. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas? 
I'm before you go and commit to your plan, Donald, I understand you, were you should know that Saren is a That's major correct. stakeholder in Binary Helix. Were you interested and screwing in Vargas over would be hurting Saren's pocketbook as well. Now, I don't need to come after Saren's money. Actually, we're coming for his life him. instead. Isn't she right across the room? Can't she see us passing Vargas her item? I mean, Vargas didn't see us talking to her, so maybe she's being nonchalant. I appreciate your forthrightness, Now that we know what to look for, our IT people can have a little fun with the Asari. We'll isolate their viruses and feed them false data. So wait, now you don't get a reward for the mission. Not quite sleepy, Joe, just watch. Any results? Everything went as planned. Damn, it's crazy how easily Shepard can lie. As naturally as we breathe, baby. Well, you might be crooked as hell, Donald, but I can't say you won't get results. You're getting the same amount of coin, experience, and even picking up more renegade points if you had just worked with Malene. Good day, Spectre. Now we can finally move on to talk to Lorik. Interesting facts about Lorik. First of all, he's got the same voice Afternoon. actor as Sovereign. Well, well that's, that's a great. bit unsettling. Also, if you give him the evidence from his are offices, we'll get an email from him in help. Mass Effect 2. You are the it appears he takes over as the administrator for Port Hanshan like after Analeas is removed from power. Well, I'll never get that because it requires me to betray up. Gianna, which means you she won't pass. give you a smooch if you help her on Ilium. Ah, yeah. It would I'm sure be a shame if something terrible happened to Gianna and caused her to not be in Mr. Mass Effect 2 at all. You're really going to do it, aren't you, Donald? I, I feel like you two are in on something that I'm unaware of. I wouldn't think too hard on it, Joe. It's not like either of us can stop him. Anyway, Lorik here is another character who can get you a garage pass if you're willing to give him the information from his office. I wish the other missions had this many paths you could go down. I have to imagine this is how the cut content on Theorem was meant to be. Novaria has some cut content, but most of it has to do with things after you leave Port Hanshan. So for the most part, what we're seeing is what we were intended to get. my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. Oh, I'm hoping violence against Analeas' thugs are necessary, Birdman. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. We could kill them even Excellent. if they weren't mercenaries. We're a specter. Now you're using your head, Joe Attaboy. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? I can't make any promises, Lorik. I'm about to have that room looking like that one girl's Gojo figurine. Oh, Jesus f***ing Christ, Donald. Come on, man, not that again. What, y'all didn't like that present I sent you in the DMs? I will literally never open any video file from you ever again. Out of all the things my mental decline causes me to forget, that is the one thing I appear to be retaining. Freeze! Hanshan Security, this office is sealed. What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keen is under investigation. You know I'm a Spectre and, and you're still back talking me? to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. Does she not know who Barden Joe Shepard is? wager is one's life. Is calling the bluff really so wise? He ain't paying me enough to take on Spectres or Alliance troops or whatever. Smart woman, this? You you're never getting paid enough us? to die. We'll pretend we didn't see you. Too bad the rest of her friends decided not to leave with her. No, it's great. Time for me to go on a f***ing tear. God damn, where did that guy's shields go? We're finally in the part of the game where Shepard becomes a god. Our biotics have long duration and low cooldowns, and now we finally have a powerful gun. The only things we're missing now are high explosive ammunition and the goaded frictionless material. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. And I don't think you're you supposed to be breathing, Kyra. Leave? Why don't we correct that? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. The f*** you mean, uh-uh? She thinks her and her boys are standing up to a trained Alliance Marine, an Asari, and a Krogan. You know we did to cop killers on my world? You're breaking the law for bribe money. You know what we do to dirty cops on my world? Do Krogan even have cops? Fight, Shut up, I'll Joe. Don't mess up Rex's cold retort. Uh-oh, watch out, Donald. It's a red laser, your arch nemesis. Screw you, Barack. One damn death to a sniper and you can't let it go. At least Donald and I didn't lose to a Thorian creeper. 
Imagine dying to some vomit. Joe, I know you're not talking when you racked up three deaths in one episode. Joe, my boy, you got clapped up by a drone and some random thug with a gun as a trained Marine. Donald, I thought we were on the same side here. Same side? With you? That's a good one. Nah, Barack can clown me if he wants. We got the same amount of deaths, but you? You gotta get on our level first. You guys all think you're so much better than me. Oh, Joe, that is the least fancy thing I've ever heard. Joe, I'll give you your props when you earn them. Just you wait. One day you'll both learn. Whoa, red flag. Allow me to reintroduce Donald, myself. I'm gonna make one appeal to you here to not go through with your plans. It's what pointless, but go ahead, Barack, take your best shot. Aside from the fact that Gianna will give us a kiss in Mass Effect 2, she also has an inspiring background where she grows up poor and learned how to hide herself, aiding in her ability to work undercover solving white collar crime. Barack, you just tried to appeal to me to care about a poor person who grew up into an adult who solves white collar crime. You are aware of who you're talking to, right? Barry, that wouldn't have even worked on me. Hell, I don't think it would have worked on you either. It was worth a shot. Well, for those of you who don't know, there's a few things you can do with Lorik's data. Like I said before, you can give it back to him for a garage pass. You can work with Gianna and get Anolius arrested for corruption. Or you can give the data to Anolius for a garage pass. However, there is a secret fourth option that not too many people engage with or even know about. First things first, let's go speak with Lorik so we can get the most amount of renegade points. Uh, oh, looks like Shepard forgot how to walk again. What's crazy is that despite walking forward and going sideways at the same time, the Mass Effect 1 walking animation still doesn't look Always as wonky as the one for Mass Effect Andromeda. On Always right. slipping in a shot at Andromeda, huh, Donald? Are you going to tell I me I'm wrong? No, you're right. But an internal affairs Ryder runs like their body is inhabited by an alien that is trying its hardest to replicate natural human movement. You know, like the cockroach guy from Men in Black. Shepard isn't even looking in Lorik's direction. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. Wait, hold up. Why did Donald walk past Gianna? You're about to find out, I'm Joe. I'm in the middle of nine things, all of them annoying. What do you want now? I got something for you, Mr. Administrator. Your secretary is a plant for the executive board. Why are you Internal snitching affairs, on Gianna? Because I've been too lenient hey, with the both of you. That is good to this know. is a renegade run, outside. and we have way too many points to in the Paragon Bar girl. for my liking. We saved the colonist on Pharos, even though we didn't need to. It's time for this Commander Shepard to be the man he's meant to be. Your mind has not been fully on your duty to me. Uh, this doesn't look I good. I understand, sir. I'm not losing this job. Well, Analyze, rest in peace, Gianna. If I don't report in, the board will figure it out. Put the weapon... I said I'm not losing this job! Looks like Analeas lost his job anyway. Oh, come on, Donald. Have some respect. He's getting what he deserved for calling me a commie. And don't think this white-collar snitch is safe either. Bro, Gianna did nothing to deserve that. You see, that's a true villain arc, true renegade behavior. Corporal, secure the area. Keep everyone out of here, now! Hold on, let me go steal from the Solarian. Please don't touch anything. The f*** you mean, please don't touch anything? Is she gonna stop us? Sure doesn't look like she is. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. Mind your own business. Spectre. I've never actually talked to this bird before. Yeah, I normally walk past him. This is Lily Hirax, better known as Lee. And he's the source of some interesting cut content for the overall Mass Effect game. There's some dialogue that suggests that Lee would have examined the Mako and offered some upgrades. There's a broken prompt in the code that would have opened up a store screen. Of all the things to lose, that kind of blows. Would have been nice to upgrade the Mako so it's actually fun to drive and didn't bounce around like it's made out of cardboard and glue. Access to the garage is restricted. She sounds nervous. I I'd be nervous too after the stunt you just pulled, yes, Donald. They put the only ERCS guard with social anxiety in charge of holding the door. At long last, we're leaving Port Hanshan and getting into the shittier part of this mission because naturally all good things come to an end. What are you on right now, Donald? Peak 15 is a perfectly fine part of the game. Yeah, sure, walking around the same tunnels we see in every side mission, and there aren't any good characters besides that Volus. Gonna agree with Donald there. We put Novaria fairly high up on the tier list, but let's be honest, it's carried by everything you can do back at Hanshan. 
Uh, I go through a bout of PTSD every time I pass through the Alutsk Valley. Damn, Barry, I knew people of color didn't like the cold, but I didn't know it was that bad. Bruh. Joe, you're not gonna get away with saying stuff like that by pretending to be the well-meaning but out-of-touch elderly man? Okay, like I was trying to say, I'm sure many people who played the original version of Mass Effect 1 and were unfortunate enough to forget to save are familiar with being knocked back like two hours in the progression of the game. That was only a problem if you were bad enough to be killed by anything. Couldn't be me. Yeah, okay, sure. Anyway, there was no autosave anywhere along this route to Peak 15 or before you fight the Matriarch. So if you lost to her, you'd be kicked all the way back to the beginning of the Mako section. I'd probably just stop playing the game if that happened to me. I'm glad I didn't get into Mass Effect until the Legendary Edition came out. It was especially annoying because back then the Asari Commandos could just knock you to the ground and then you'd get lit up by the gaff. Modern autosaves has made today's gamers soft. Back in my day, you only had one save file, and if you got a game over, that was it. You had to start over from the very beginning. Donald, don't you ever try to call me old ever again after you just said all of that. Anyway, some interesting information about this Mako section. It was originally going to play out differently. The valley would have had more enemies and would have had gates that Shepard needed to open similar to the approach to the Salarian outpost on Vermeer. That would have made the lack of an autosave even worse. All right, we've made it to Peak 15, which if you didn't know is a play on Area 51. Unfortunately, the alien species they're hiding here aren't attractive ones, just giant roaches. There was a bug right around this area back in the OG Mass Effect. If you had a newer AMD CPU, the models in the game, including Shepard and the squad, would be rendered as blocks of black pixels the moment you entered the Peak 15 garage. I remember hearing about that, proof that Intel clears. The same bug also exists when you get to ILOS. The fix for it was to go into the in-game console and use the view mode unlit command. This would remove the black blobs, but it would make the lighting look off. Donald, you're running in like you want to die. Not even a little bit. Oh, okay, Donald, I see you sidestepping the rockets. Doing all those renegade options got me locked in. Whoa, where did this motherfucker come from? Liara, help! Swing and a miss, Donald. That carnage blast did not go where my reticle was aiming. If this were Overwatch, it would have landed with the way they're expanding every hitbox. Hey, maybe Joe will actually be able to play a game and be good at it. I'm not even gonna bother defending myself anymore. I'm just gonna tell you to go f yourself. What was that? Probably debris. Don't have a panic attack. I'll protect you. Are you gonna protect us, Rex? Because the last time I had you with Liara and I, you kept your ass on the other side of the door on Pharos. Don't blame Rex because you closed the door behind you. Look out for the small green spiders, Donald. Okay, Donald keeps calling them roaches and now you're calling them spiders. What are they? They're roaches, look at them. They're spiders. The name Rachni forms parts of the name Arachnids. If they're spiders, why do they only have four legs? What were those? Damn if I know. But someone on this mountain knows. Hold on, shouldn't Rex know what the Rachni are? Not necessarily. Rex might be old, but he's not that old. Rex did not serve in the Rachni invasion. Hell, he wasn't even alive, or at least not old enough to serve in the Krogan Rebellion. He's never seen a Rachni a day in his life. Surely some Krogan would have pictures of Rachni in history books or in artwork or something. History books? Artwork? From the Krogan, the people who bombed themselves back into the Stone Age? Yeah, I realized how dumb that sounded after I said it. Oh God, not this puzzle. F why don't we have Medigel? What's wrong, Donald? I think you'd be able to handle this. I don't want to waste time doing it. Here, move over, Donald. I'll do it. Couldn't we just break some stuff down into Medigel? Sure, if you want to take the easy way out, it's not even that difficult. If it's not that difficult, why do you have the wiki page open, Barack? Shh. Shut up, Donald. You're ruining the illusion. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? How do I shut this thing up? Once again, Bioware makes the prompt in the dialogue wheel something entertaining and then has the actual voice line be way less funny. Apparently Mira's dialogue at the beginning and Renegade Shepard's response to it is a reference to Clippy, the Microsoft Office help pop up. Microsoft need to keep that f***ing paperclip in the past where it belongs. It's bad enough we can't escape AI with Cortana. 
Not gonna lie, this is looking a little overpowered now. Staggering the Rachni with one shot is broken. Donald isn't even using any biotics. I mean, I don't need to when Liara just drops Singularity and everything starts floating like it's been filled with helium. And look at how many credits we racked up just for killing some bugs. This is definitely where Mass Effect stops being the hardest User game in the alert. trilogy. Main credits are harder to come by, especially in Mass Effect 2. Procedures. Man like, this is insane. We just picked up one of the best light armors in the game for free. The Predator armors offer the best shields and nearly the best tech and biotic resistances. Its only major competition for best armor is the Colossus armors. In case you don't know, the stuff you find is tied to your level. The higher up you are, the better the loot you find will be. By the way, Rex just sat out another goddamn firefight on the other side of that door. Maybe he just doesn't like you. Uh, where's my squad at? I think I see their shadows sitting behind the door there. Okay, I'm starting to think Rex is playing with me, and now Liara is in on the joke. You're lucky you noticed before you ran in to go fix the fuel line. This upcoming area can be a challenge. A challenge for you, maybe. I could do this in my sleep. And with this goaded gear and armor I've got, I'll slide right through it. Don't get too confident there, Donald. We're still a squishy sentinel. I don't need advice from you, little bro. And that's all she wrote for these weak-ass guests. Oh, I think you missed some, Donald. It's just one guy. No! <laughs> Get fucked, Donald. Literally got one guy. What was that you said earlier, Donald? Something about me needing to get on your level? You still have more deaths than me? Yeah, but you're only one screw up away from it being tied up. I won't screw up again. All I'm gonna say is Big B Obama's stocks are looking good right now. Y'all better buy as fast as you can. You're lucky you get to pick up where you left off. This Geth, all Geth must die specifically because of what this one did to me. Uh, we should probably make sure Donald doesn't play Rannick in Mass Effect 3. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot. Finally making it to Rift Station. From her sense. We can talk about Captain Ventralis here. Is she still over there? As there's a few things about him that could have been different. Our bald brother here was originally going to be a female Turian. Well, sh it's a shame they cut that out since we are in dire need of more female Turians in Mass Effect. We don't even see any until all the way in Mass Effect 3. And even then, it's only Nyrene from the Omega DLC. Apparently his first name is also Juleth. Time to squash some more bugs. Hell, man the perimeter. Wait, Donald, don't use Singularity. Why not? Aren't there supposed to be two Rachni here? There would be, but there's a bug here where if you use Singularity too early one, or even both of the Rachni will float into a non-accessible area and disappear. It can't be completely gone when both Rex and Liara are trying to target it. It's there, I mean, it's there on the radar, but you can't do anything to it. So what, is Donald soft locked now? Of course not. You don't actually have to help Ventralis out with the Rachni, you can just leave, but he won't be particularly happy with you if you come back. Well, f it, not my problem, the game broke. So unlike the other main story missions, Novaria keeps offering multiple ways to go about things. You can either break into the hot labs by passing through the restricted area, or you can sneak in by doing the Novaria quarantine mission. Is the breaking in part the one where an alarm goes off and suddenly all the NPCs just turn hostile? I did that once on accident and got fucked up. Yep, that's the one. I would do that today but I want to fill the renegade bar up, so we'll go help the doctor out. If you head through the restricted area, you can potentially go back Boss, and get into a gunfight with Ventralis. After you win, Don't you learn that he's off. not such a great guy after all. Yes, I'm sorry. Han Olar, the Volus, will tell you he had all the civilians killed to cover up Binary what Helix's mistake people? with They're the Rachni. So hold up, when you go through the I restricted area, agreement. You we lose access to NPCs and don't get to engage in this other mission where you learn more about the situation. What's the payoff? Like Better loot, going, experience, credits, the thrill yeah. of battle. What else do you need? I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. Companies you know valuing the, the lives of its employees team. over its secrets? Bro is completely Delulu. I killed her. It's our favorite traumatized exercise ball, oh. Han Olar. Is his name a reference to Han Solo? If it's not, it is now. That's my head cannon. We're going to lunch. When the alarms went off, I ran into the tram, and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. Better you than her, bro. I believe in the age-old adage, I don't need to outrun the giant roach from space, I just need to outrun the my slowest friend. It's her own damn fault anyway. 
Of course. Assuming the doctor was another human, how the hell did she let the three-foot-tall alien with stubby legs beat her to the door? Don't you guys feel any kind of desire to throw yourself in front of a woman to protect them? Ha! About the know who you think I am, Spider-Man? Yeah, my wife and my daughters. I am not a hero and don't claim to be. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. And instead of frying it up into an omelet, they decided to hatch it and cause this entire disaster. If you care, Han Olar will reach back out to us in Mass Effect 2. He's seeking therapy, trying to get over the woman he killed. Olar says it would have been right for the Rachni to kill all the people here at Peak 15. And he asks why Shepard didn't show up before he killed the doctor instead of after. Olar then goes on about how he's not sure if he's really alive and thinks he is just in some hallucination before finally reaching the afterlife. Though if he is really alive, he offers his thanks. Damn, that's kind of sad. Of yep, crew. no jokes. We're just going to play Shepard. that one straight. I'm a Spectre, sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. OK, but apparently these people have been off the grid for a while. God damn it, the one time we could use our Spectre authority and force our way past this guy, and we don't do it. What's he going to do, stop us? No one could even report our murdering this guy. Han Olar is traumatized, and we all know the Council doesn't trust the testimony of traumatized workers. And those other two scientists would prefer to keep this on the down low. Yeah, thanks for your help back there. It's not my fault the damn bugs if didn't rise up out the ground. Attack, it's got to be embarrassing to have like 10 guys and to not thanks be able to handle confidence. this, but Shepard clears the Rachni with a small squad of three. Labs. So, Ventralis trying to get us to go straight to the hot labs is all a part of his ploy with the matriarch. I'd like to recover the toxin. He's hoping that we'll go down there and die, but when you don't, he attacks us since he's on the matriarch's payroll. How the hell did you fail, Donald? Shut the f up. Do I look like a doctor to you? You look like you're trying to make COVID-24. Please don't. The 2020 effect has finally ended, and I'd like to have one damn year of this decade be normal. It's an election year, Barry. It's already cooked for everyone. We'll see about that, bitch. Whoa, Rex. Oh, what? You're going to cancel Rex for calling it like he sees it? I'm about to blow her brains out all over the floor anyway. Yeah, but he didn't have to be so rude about it. Is there a nice way to go about filling someone with bullets like they're 50 cent? Okay, sidestepping two warp blasts is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's really easy to do when you're spamming the pause combat button, Donald. The Asari is dead, but don't worry, I didn't call her a bitch while I did it, so it's all good. Well, look, the guard died anyway. Good, I got something for him. Come on, Donald, you didn't even earn that. Don't need to, I take what I can get. We're nearing the end here. All we have to do is go back to the doctor, and we'll they be on our way to the there. matriarch fight. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. Oh, baby, is it good there to see you? This might be one of the most underwhelming boss fights in the series. You're not joking, Sleepy Joe, as much as I like to lay eyes upon the beautiful. And might I say, voluptuous matriarch, this fight is pure cheeks. I'd say it's worse than the human proto-reaper from Mass Effect 2. The matriarch, lore-wise, is hyped up to be the most powerful foe Shepard has faced up to this point in their career. Because she's a member of my crew. But all she does is summon a bunch of Asari commandos and some Geth, while her power level gets lower and lower. That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? You could what have at could least told us she has a massive rack, Liara. Have you faced I might get a little distracted. You know, Liara becomes more well endowed when we see her again in Mass Effect 2 and 3, look so smug with the considering their lifespans. Do Asari titties just keep growing? Fears. My God, just when I thought the race of blue beauties couldn't get better. If the two of you are done talking about Asari anatomy, there's a boss fight ahead. Yeah, yeah, this is the least serious boss fight I've ever played. Look, all these Asari are gonna pull up and get completely demolished. Didn't this boss fight used to be a lot harder? There are some changes. Back in OG Mass Effect, the Matriarch used to throw out biotic attacks and shoot at you. But now she just sits in her bubble and waits things out as you slaughter all her units. It was pretty annoying because a random biotic stasis or warp would just fly out of nowhere and stop you. One wave down. The Asari Commandos used to also throw out their disabling attacks more often back in the OG game, like way more. I don't think I've been dropped by a biotic attack in this boss fight since the Legendary Edition came out. I'll admit that's actually a good change. 
Getting randomly ragdolled the very instant the boss fight starts was annoying as shit. I never played the original trilogy. Would you two ever go back to it? You couldn't pay me to play OG Mass Effect 1. There's close to no reason to go back to the OG Mass Effect other than for the sake of nostalgia or if there's some specific mod that hasn't made it over to the Legendary Edition, though I'm pretty sure the hardworking modding folks have basically got that settled. Love the people over at Nexus Mods. Love every single one of them. Too bad mods can't save Starfield from being no greater than a 6 out of 10 game. Just when I thought we were done hearing about Starfield. Why the f*** is she tired? The matriarch hasn't even done anything. You don't get it, Sleepy Joe. She's carrying two massive weights on her chest 24 7 Standing up has to be killer on her back. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Your Everything mind is about is to be clear. filled with this shotgun. I expected better from Asari Commandos. Honestly, same. the Asari Commandos seem kind of trash. Asari military doctrine is all about him. ambush. Infiltration and assassination. You... They can't stand up to a head-on firefight like Krogan's, Turians, and even you humans. How the fuck is the race filled Saren's with people who can use space magic so piss poor in warfare? The Asari for real let the Birdmen become the galaxy's police force. Sounds like working smart rather than hard to me, Donald. The Asari are the most technologically advanced race, and they got Turians and later humans to take care of all the grunt work. That's an astute observation from you, Joe. I'm impressed. Thank you. I've been doing a little reading. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? A giant space rock is one way to make a mass relay go missing. Supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are up my ear. But Asari don't have ears. It's a turn of phrase, you Joe. Sh you should. Oh, you should. Holy shit. Mother, I hope y'all got headphones I in. Don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Liara says her and her mother hadn't spoken in a long time, but it sounds like they were pretty close. A long time without speaking probably doesn't Die. mean as much when you live to be 1,000 years old. Oh, f so much for the matriarch not living up to her hype, eh, Donald? Well, Donald would be screwed if she had any concept of target priority. My turn. Oh, f She's cooking you, Donald. Light work. Shot her so bad she started glitching in the air. I cannot Thank you, Bioware, for this you blessed camera angle. Is she standing up just so she can fall back down and die? Again. I still hear it like metal on metal, squealing and reverberating. Well, rest in peace, Benezia. It's a shame we can't say your name properly. Mother. Wait, Barack, you just did it. Holy shit, you actually said Benezia. Wait, Joe did it too, I wanna I try. Benezia. Well, I'll be damned. Well, we won't ever be saying her name ever again now, so whatever. Yeah, that's right, Bioware. Linger on the boob window for just a bit longer. I'm almost there. Whoa, bro, what? She's literally a corpse, Donald. Still warm, you know, it's the five minute rule. If there was any chance you'd be getting past the pearly gates, Donald, that comment just guaranteed your ticket to hell. Well, 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 Donald, you're getting to make the first big decision of the playthrough. He's been uncharacteristically quiet about whether he's going to kill the Rachni or not. That's because he's already made up his mind. Listen, the damn roaches were cooked the moment it was decided I'd be playing Novaria. Is there really no way we can talk you out of this? I mean, the Rachni weren't to blame for the invasion. And the Queen becomes our ally if we save her in Mass Effect 3. Hell no, those bugs are relics of the past. Well, I think we all know where this is going. The Rachni Queen does genuinely go full isolation and doesn't intend to ever be seen again until the Reapers drag her and her children into the Reaper War in Mass Effect 3. In Mass Effect 2, we'll have a run-in with an Asari who acts as a messenger. She expresses the Queen's gratitude for allowing the Rachni to flourish again and promises her aid in the upcoming war against the Reapers. Donald, I know you know all of this. How can you still kill the Queen? Joe, he willingly killed Gianna Parasini earlier in the episode. You know what he's about. This is actually a completely justifiable renegade decision from the roleplay POV. The only reason we can trust the bugs is because we know what happens in 3. But in the context of Mass Effect 1, Shepard has no business keeping the Queen alive. 
that yeah. is admittedly fair. At this point, all we know is the Rachni waged war on the galaxy. The Queen says herself she has no clue what occurred in the war. We have no reason to trust that at this point, Joe. Also, all this reasoning is nice and, and all. And I'll admit you have a point, Joe, but I've made it clear I don't care. I'm turning on the bug spray. Cause harm as they are. Jesus Christ, this episode was a goddamn bloodbath. Let's see, Donald killed Inamorta, Gianna, Analeas, and now the Rachni. Four NPCs that didn't need to die and did anyway. I didn't kill Gianna and the Salarian. They killed each other. Yeah, because of something you did. It doesn't even matter. It's not like we're losing out on war assets. Well, right that's now. definitely true. This episode is going to leave a bad taste in my mouth. Well, don't worry. We've still got one more stop and plenty more bugs to stomp out to the hot labs. Our last bit of cut content here is how the triggering of the neutron purge in the hot labs would have needed an arming key in addition to the code we get from Tartakovsky. The Mira VI will point us towards a Salarian named Ruan Aichion, a scientist who went insane and locked himself in a room. Shepard would need to either blow up the door or convince him to come out. If you blow up the door, it'll kill Ryan, and most of the squad mates won't be happy about it. If you talk him out, he'll hang out with us for a short while and then take himself out. Darn, I could have gotten a fifth person killed instead of just four. Bro will never be satisfied. Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruction. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good God, Donald, the hell is wrong with you? You don't see gore like this anywhere else in the trilogy, and it really sells the horror of the Rachni. Damn. And Hanolar saw that happen to someone's head. What the f is this spit made out of? See, getting spat up on is pretty lethal. Almost had a third death there, Donald. You're slipping. Well, it's a good thing almost don't count for a thing. If Grunt were here, he'd probably say he was hungry and then ask if anyone was going to eat that. Considering Rex jokes about eating Salarian livers, I wouldn't be surprised. Not going to lie to you, Joe. I don't think those are jokes. Given the dire situation on Tachanka, I think it's safe to say Krogan eat whatever they can get their hands on, even other sentient alien species. I'd imagine a couple of baked Turian legs goes great with some fried Hanar legs as a side. I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, Six Semper <coughs> Tyrannus translates to thus always to tyrants, a phrase commonly attributed to Brutus at the murder of Julius Caesar. And it was famously uttered by John Wilkes Booth at Abe Lincoln's assassination. Mass Effect really is our Roman Empire, isn't it? Who knew Shepard was such a history buff? Hey, Donald, you're going to have to run through a bunch of Rachni. And the last one we saw almost one shot you with its spit. Yeah, so what? I'm saying if there were a time for you to fuck up and be tied with Joe, it would be now. I'm just warning you to be careful. I'll be fine. Just watch me cut straight through like the Vanguard player I am. You're fucked. No, I'm not. I'll make it. Get out the damn way. Fuck you. Fuck these goddamn roaches. I'm glad I exterminated you. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks like you're finally on my level, Donald. This is such horse shit. Imagine losing when all you had to do was hold W and sprint, Donald. I'm not playing around this time. My mistake was leaving it up to the neutron purge to kill the bugs when I should have just done it myself. Not gonna lie, dying there was your just desserts for all the BS you pulled in this episode, Donald. I hope Gianna and the Rachni Queen are looking down at you with smiles on their faces. Might as well get some free experience for my troubles. Holy hell, it's good to be off the, the frozen wasteland. The Mu Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander God damn Ashley is hostile. Looking? Liara wasn't even giving orders. She literally said, the She's commander is right. Out. She was agreeing. Sorry, you ever notice how Garrus, Rex, and Tally almost never speak up during Drew these post-mission meetings? Well, given how Ashley just away. reacted at Liara agreeing with Shepard, I'm not surprised. Time for our favorite segment, hanging up on the, the council. Now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I fail to find it amusing. But I do find it amusing. And we're out. Miss Williams. Uh-oh, drama ahead. What the we hell is this? Talk. The consequences of you not sticking true to your word, now. you son of a bitch. If you pass may... through the flirting dialogue with Liara and one of either Caden or oh, Ashley, huh? you'll eventually be confronted and have to make a choice. Civilized. Good. I do not want and now I can finally unpleasant. set the record straight. The deal because was that I could so romance good. Ashley if I let you, Joe, pick the Somebody Sentinel class. Liara is a better option, Donald. And it ain't 
You can romance her here and then keep Maybe it going through Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. I may not know Ashley will leave us on Horizon. But I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Okay, Ashley, Perhaps goddamn. That's why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common All right, I'm not going to hold you. Liara came back with some heat there, but I'm still picking Ashley. Barry, come on, back me up for old time's sake. I already told you I wasn't involving myself in this. I'm just here for the show. Which is why you must choose Ashley or me. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. Ashley is so real for that, to be honest. Donald, think about this. You can have both instead. Wait, can I pick both, Barack? You can pick that lowest option there if you want but it defaults to Liara. Ashley will take the prospect of a threesome as a rejection. I guess she doesn't like sharing. Special well, me. Ashley, it is. No! Yeah? Kind of hard to feel special while you're always chatting with your little boy The f kind of middle school shit is this? All we did was talk to the both of you. We spoke to Garrus and Rex, too. Want to drag them up into this as well? Damn, you sounded kind of heated there, Barack. I hate the way Mass Effect 1 does romances. Romances are the literal only thing I will ever give Andromeda. At least the squad mates don't decide to become soulmates with you, you right just because you spoke to them two or three times. I feel the same way. No, I don't feel the same I way. Not. I was just what trying was to let her down easy. Answer. Goddamn dialogue wheel. Me? Well, Joe, this is the end. We're romancing Ashley. No more debate, no more whining about Liara. You understand? Oh, I understand, Donald. Trust me. I do I understand. For you to get Has this dumbass debate Ashley. finally been settled? Yes, at long last, we've finally locked it in. Wait, you know what I just realized? If you Perhaps do this with female best. Shepard she and Caden... Does this mean I'm Caden sure turns down the prospect of a threesome happy. with Shepard and Liara? That might be the biggest fumble in the history of man. Too. I don't know, Shepherd's sleeping with two attractive women at once is some teenage boy type dream. I I feel so All he probably wants is love, longevity, and faithfulness. That's a surprise. In the relationship. A second ago, you yeah, said well, he can worry about love after laying up with a beautiful well, blue beauty and no female Shepard. Bro's gonna wake up one day thinking about how he missed that opportunity. Let's not talk about this here. It's not really the right setting for intimate conversation. You know where to find me. Well, we've reached the end of another fire episode. With Noveria done, I'll take the wheels and get us through the remainder of our side missions in the Bring Down the Sky DLC. The wrongs of episodes past have been corrected. We will romance Ashley. Y'all stay safe out there, drink plenty of water, get some sleep, and we'll see you on the next one. This is not over.